Life Street Stars. Man, oh man, oh man. With a day one. With a day one. He's with back. A couple really? of day ones, man. I mean, needs no introduction, man. Uh, DJ Duffy. And What's that? I want. And, and, and it's DJ. funny because Duffy. Yeah, I, I want At. DJ Duffy. Yeah. yeah, she made sure she monikered that. And normally we say, oh, and she's bringing a, a, a new artist, but we've had an enchanting in the building hey, already, man. It. It's like, man, it, it, it's 2019, man, and everything is turning up, man. Yeah, everything is turning up. It's a though. blessing to have both of y'all back together, man. But I, I, we have to touch on it. Like, y'all are sitting here together, like, almost, like, what, what's, 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 the, what's going on? What, what's, what's the situation here, man? Well, um, at the beginning of the year, I started Duffy Entertainment, which is a management company. And I wanted to find talented artists in my city that I could help with all my, you know, the stuff I've learned throughout my career. And in the city, local in city. In the city. She's grabbing them. Yeah. yeah. Why don't yeah. more people do this? I don't know. Because you made it so, seem you know, so easy. A lot easy. of people forget where they come from. They're not grounded, but I'm a very grounded person. Everybody knows that about me. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. From the first time to the second time, you know, we saw your trajectory. And we're like, man, it's, I mean, th this is just a start of <laughs> where it's yeah. about to go yep. for you. So now it only made sense to start because there's so much talent here in the city, yes. in DFW, that it's like, why not start here? As a matter of fact, you might, you might be on a gold mine here. I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious as to how you came across Enchanting's music. Like, um, actually, a friend of mine who is an investor, we were talking about investing in a, a company together, and she was like, "I know that you um, now have this management company. There's this girl that sings really good from Fort Worth. You should check her out." And then I went on her page, and I was like, "I gotta have her! Oh my gosh, she's in Shout my out city. To her. <laughs> she's so amazing! Like, I'm asleep. Like, this is. I'm glad she woke me up because Enchanting is." A special, special star we have here in Dallas, Texas. Okay. Can, can you list the, the names of all the artists that you've uh, signed to your management company? Um, so I have en Enchanting, and then I have Pretty Paid and Rude. They're two cousins um, here in Dallas. Um, I have Malcolm King, also from Dallas. Um, he is a... I'm trying to give him, put him in the lane of being a comedian rapper. Because his. if you go listen to Malcolm King, y'all, and this might make you want to listen... You'll realize how funny this man is. And so I think that's my direction with Malcolm. So I'm going to throw that out there because y'all go listen to him. And then I have um, Cuddy Forever. And Cuddy is from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And I wasn't going to get any artists outside of Dallas. Mm. But his daughter has um, a rare disease where she can't speak or walk. And he told oh, me a wow. story about how he wanted to use his rap career to get her better help, better doctors, better teachers. And then I listened to his music, and it was just really good. And I was just like, ah, okay. Well, I was like, this is yeah, the yeah, last yeah. one for a while. <laughs> He's close enough. Close enough. For real, for real. <laughs> nah, I mean, definitely not. Shout out uh, Malcolm. I think we shot one of his first videos uh, up here. And then, uh, you know, Pretty Paid Root, uh, you know, we, you know, their family on another level. Yeah. yeah, with us too. So, I mean, what you're doing is definitely, definitely amazing. Um, Enchanting, uh, a lot of cats have come up here. And we asked them, like, who's next in the city? Who's next in the city? And to my surprise, but also to no surprise, they, I mean, whether we ask they male or, yeah, 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 we say male or female, they throw your name That's out there. Lit. Have you been seeing that? Have you been seeing them throw the name out there? Yeah, I'll be, see, I'll be coming across some of the interviews with the name dropping. It's, yeah. it's live, bro. How does that feel to go from, like, I say, like, you know, you've been up here before, you know, and yeah. even your own trajectory has been mm -hmm. Amazing, you know, to where a lot of people probably maybe heard of you through hearsay, but yeah. now they're really knowing you, looking mm -hmm. for you, they're searching for you, your following yeah. is growing. How does that feel? It's live. Every <laughs> day, I just, whew, I just be looking at everything, and it's, it's crazy because I just feel like I came far in a in a short amount of time. So like, whenever people just coming up to me, like fans of me, I get recognized and shit. It's like it's a weird. But it's also live at the same time. This girl called me one day and told me she's going to have to quit her job because too many people coming up to her. I was like, no, no you're for not. real. Not yet. <laughs> she's like, too many, she like, too many people recognizing Stack. me at my work. I'm going to have to quit this whole suit. <laughs> Stack up. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Now, I ain't gonna lie, when you first came through, you had a look of a star. You know, that was one thing, like, you know, a distinctive look. And that's one thing a lot of people don't realize, that, you know, from the beginning that sometimes you got to maybe branch off and have mm -hmm. an identity first yeah. before you even start building yourself. Like, build into who you are and you I mean from the get go you started that 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 vibe oh, um you. how was it you know she saw, she found you mm -hmm. how was it you know what was your you know reciprocation of duffy you know like damn you know what was your yeah, day? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, like, yeah yeah what yeah take us through that day take us through that day 
I was like, the dove? <laughs> <laughs> the dove? Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. So, yeah, we just, shit, we talked on the phone, and it was lit from there. Hey, I remember the first post that uh, my boy Johnny made. It's one of y'all made this. Y'all immediately was like, yeah, price is up. <laughs> like, then you can't even talk to me no more. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Max. Wait, the price right is up. The <laughs> what? And, and I, we got to tell did, 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 did you know that Duffy like rapped for like two weeks before? She did rap. I yeah. found out you from an uh, anonymous gonna, source. We're not finna <laughs> act like she didn't have a hard ass video. <laughs> oh, like I was really waiting for the second one. That video was so hard. That, that shit was hard as a like, motherfucker, yo. I was lit for that, that two weeks. I was yeah. Lit for that two weeks. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You know, th- this is a rare situation where both of y'all are on a lot of people's risk at all list. <laughs> yeah, the risk it all. Risk it all. Oh, yeah. Risk yeah. It all for sure. <laughs> yeah. I know. A lot of y'all. I know. Yeah, both of y'all. Is. Be a, they be coming to my DMs for her. <laughs> bro. Bro. I'm like. They, they be like, coming to my DMs. They be like, Duffy. They be like, Duffy. Yeah, yeah. like, like, I think like, you beautiful. They be like, Duffy, I think you beautiful. But man, your artist in Shannon, that's, that's my favorite. <laughs> right you, you should change your thing to risk it all, ENT. <laughs> oh, God. Well, y'all, risk you, it all, ENT. Hey, you never throw her to oop and you never throw her to oop. No, no oop nah, skin. Nah, man, I need her to stay focused. Like, <laughs> you better chill. Look, look I wasn't going to say her nigga was right here. Look, I wasn't going to say he was right here, but I was just like, nah, she got to stay focused. Stay in the studio, man. Johnny got the stick on him. Johnny over there looking at me like, I wish you would. I wish the and fuck you would. The on them. Hey, I mind my business, man. I just mind. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> hey, man, you, 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 hey, your business, your business is uh, is, I ain't gonna lie, Duff, man. Since the last time you came through, and you, you always you, come through. You always come, hey, shout out to, shout out she to a always real a real one. For all the ones that's watching, be like, man, I'm thinking about going. She always come through. She always. pulls up. Um, you you got a new moniker yourself since the last time you came through. You you kind of embrace. The twerking DJ. Yes, that's my new title, and I'm proud of it, and I love it. <laughs> like, enjoy do you, it. Do you ever just watch your videos and be like, damn? I watch my videos, and I sometimes I'm like, dang, you was lazy on that one. Like, you wasn't <laughs> even going hard. I'd be <laughs> like, man. I could, do a le- that could do that leg a little more higher. Yeah. It, you know, I'm getting older now. I can't. Hey. We get tired. We, we were just having it because we have a female co-host out here. A nigga, th- you know, he, he kind of jumped out the window on her with a comment. <laughs> What's the wildest comment somebody just jumped out there trying to shoot their shot? Oh, it's a, always the one when they just jump in my DMs just want to lick my ass and eat my ass because I'm just like, to strange. eat somebody's you ass, you got to really, like, love them and right. be secure with them. Y'all got to get to know each exactly. other. Like, the ass-eating thing is, like, right you, like, deep, game. deep, deep in the relationship. Like, we ain't going That's nowhere. Serious shit, you ass-eating niggas day one, y'all you know, got to chill like, out, Like, you man. coming off the rip just wanting to eat my ass, you know? What, right you can't trust a nigga like right when they made You can't the po- trust a nigga like Right when they made the poop emoji. That's almost worse than the guy sending a dick pic is telling me off the bat you want to eat my ass. I'm like, if you want to eat a bitch ass you don't know then you die. oh man yeah he, that's, de- <laughs> I mean, that's you, definitely risking it all hey, but when you risking it all what else got, <laughs> you gotta go <laughs> you gotta go start with hi my <laughs> name is <laughs> like for real, something that shit. hello like shit. maybe this will work <laughs> man for real <laughs> facts facts um no hey you were in front I, uh i think you were with french um i don't know if it was the coachella crowd but some crowd or you was overseas somewhere the crowd was Recently? Crazy. Yeah, recently. I don't Egypt. Know how, Egypt. Man. Yeah, I would have never thought that the crowd would be that crazy and that hype and know all the words. And just, you know, um, something I've been doing recently is telling um, artists that are more um, street, urban, like uh, Moneybag Yo was the last person I told this to. I said, hey, when I play y'all's music overseas in Egypt and Saudi Arabia and Dubai, they know your music. So you are missing bags man. by not embracing this market and coming over here because they pay way more like way more i can't even tell you how much egypt paid french yeah. like it was it was four times what he gets paid like yeah. anywhere else see look at that man and this is this is from someone in the game so y'all need to get y'all shit. i'm just saying <laughs> yeah when you get to a certain point like go overseas because they they know the music they know the hood music they know the new 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 and music they cash out. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> period uh, and chen i just want you to speak to this like working with somebody like Duffy who's in the game, who who can actually mentor. And it seems, I mean, just from what she's doing, she's really taking her time to look for artists and really develop. What have you learned from her, you know, just working with her? A lot, shit. That just certain people, for one, don't believe the hype. For two, yeah. just like certain shit, like from different people, you can't just jump on everything you hear. Like 
somebody else might tell you they can do this or that for you. You can't just believe the bait. Like, don't get sucked into that shit because artists do that shit and they let these people manipulate <coughs> them, think they can do something for them, and they're really wasting time with their own career when they could actually be proactive and you work on them the damn man. self and not be trying to get handouts from people because they're really not handing out shit. When you gonna teach when you gonna workshop Duffy? When you gonna when you gonna I'm just saying, you know what, that was another reason why I did this because it happened to a lot of artists. A lot of uh, artists in Dallas, they don't know anything outside of Dallas and they sign these little contracts in Dallas or make the yeah, mo agree. wrong moves and they're stuck. Yeah. So my thing, that's why when I started this, people was like, "Why don't you get a? Why don't you make it a label and sign the artist, and then that way you get this and you get that, da, 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 da. you could get." I said, "That's not what I'm in here doing this for. Thanks. I'm literally trying to give back. I'm I'm good. Yeah. I don't gotta do Duffy ENT. I literally want to do it to give back and because like I enjoy this. I enjoy seeing someone who I know is a star then become a star. Like that is Definitely. enough gratitude, you know, for me. Like that would just." That would be everything to me because I remember when I first started and I was DJing and nobody believed me. But these same thoughts of traveling and DJing for somebody I had from week one. Yeah. Like from the beginning. So I, I put that confidence in them. I'm like, y'all are the star. I'm not a star. You have been telling Shannon, I can't wait to people, everybody notice you and I can just sit back. Like mm. they are stars to me and really? I see it. Exactly. No, uh, I was able to come to the, um, I want to say it was the, uh, the ENT party, kind of the release, you know, at the Don't Tell Supper Club. And, uh, and Channing, seeing, like, going to that event, that was, I believe, y'all first time going out together and doing, like, an event, doing a mm -hmm. showcase and just kind of, yeah. you know, showing yourself. Uh, how was it like seeing somebody at the caliber, let's say Duffy, as far as interacting with fans and crowds? That, do you learn from that as far as, you know, kind of staying humble and being, you know, still reachable and approachable? Yeah, Definitely. for sure. Definitely. She ain't going to be like me, though. <laughs> <laughs> and Shannon's not going to be like me. Don't let yeah. her fool you. I'm, I'm going to be like, I'm a pro. Shannon, go over yeah, yeah. there. <laughs> They're looking at you. <laughs> Shannon, I'm a pro. Shannon's people. like, chill, want to smoke a blunt. Like, there hang you out. It's not, you know, she just like, I'm just a people. I, do, I be too humble pie. Yeah. yeah. But if they come and like, oh, let's take a picture, I'm yeah, like, okay. Yeah, she will. Come on, there you go. Take the I mean, it's going to get it's gonna get to a level. So, you know. Yeah. 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 Um, just don't get too crazy. What? Uh, what mm -hmm. constructive criticism does she give you, um, and what do you give her? You better get this right, because you still don't <laughs> listen to me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, she always gets on my ass and tells me that I'm not posting enough, you know. Uh, so I try to post more, but it's, more it's about the lighting, you know. You got to have good light. Don't it's like it's fucked what up she pictures. posts, not how yeah, much. Don't what? be looking raunchy, you know. <laughs> got to look professional. Yes. And I'm just to post more professional things because professional people watch my page. So you don't want to look too much like a hood bitch, and they like, God damn. Uh. I mean, we don't I, know about you, ma'am. I mean, Duff, what are you using the iPhone X? I mean, because I mean, your your pictures are upgraded to like like what are you I using? You see what I'm saying? I've it's been telling um, her. No, she got a drone. It's a uh, portrait mode, but you all just gotta have good lighting. Oh, I just, man. I'm just showing her. Just use good lighting. She I got say, a secret I iPhone. She got, she got a secret photographer Stand hopping out the bush. in front of the window. Have somebody take your picture, or you take a selfie in front of the window. And Shannon goes to the bathroom and she'll sit her ass up on the counter <laughs> with a yellow bathroom light. And go, Ah, see, that amber light don't work for you. <laughs> you need natural sunlight, day, daylight. Look, I'm like, I'll be trying, okay? <laughs> no, she does not try. She will. <laughs> We're working on it. We're she working will. on it, okay? We're working on it. We're working on it. Because you know what? We, we got a call from uh, United Masters. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, yeah. but up-and-coming artists, Steve if you're Stout. not, look them up. Yeah. Well, there's somebody that works there that's very interested in enchanting and helping develop her, and... His main thing, you know, he told me, which I told her, was her social media. And in her videos, her pictures, her videos, she to appear like you're progressing. Because she is. So you want your look and your image and your visuals and everything to progress with your music and what you're doing and where you're going. Right. And I was like, yes, this is, this is what I'm trying to do. But I can't do it all. I can't post for you. I can't be there to take the picture. Johnny. Take the picture. She Johnny. The window. Johnny. Outside. If you see her looking pretty with natural, like take her picture with portrait yeah. mode. Yeah. Post. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just curious. Um, what is the single that you're working on right now? Like, what is the song? Monday. You're Monday. And also, dreams come true. Both of them. Okay, let's get into that. Well, Monday. Everybody Monday. hates Mondays. 
Everybody hates Monday, <laughs> but they gonna love it if they hear the song. Yeah, what what, what is the Monday song? It's uh, like in you? basically anticipating, you know, when you talking to somebody and you just you're ready to meet them and you it's basically like somebody that you used to know but you haven't seen them in a while. So it's kinda like you ready to you trying to ask if you can get a visit on Monday, you know? Because you know the weekends they busy. You exactly. ain't been around like that. It's Monday. Monday. I know you ain't got shit got to do. Can I get a you visit? Got you got time exactly. on Monday. I like that. And you also said uh Dreams come true. Dreams come true. Um, well, tell us the beginning of that song. I mean, as far as uh, that song's basically like uh, dreams come true. You, you know, you fuck with somebody, and it's just like that's the picture that you know how you have a picture in your mind of somebody how you want them to be and who you want to be with the perfect type for you. It's basically like saying that if you fuck with me, your dreams come true. Basically, Are you saying my nigga Johnny got a song? Basically, I mean. <laughs> no, no. When, 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 when you when you speak it into existence and you when things me. start happening, I mean you gotta be like, God. I mean, you feel me? <laughs> hey, hey, no, I gotta ask you then. Um, as far as the dreams for your career mm-hmm. and how far you want to see yourself go, um, speak it into existence, man. What do you where do you see yourself? Man, like two mics over. Yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> In uh, a couple years, I'm not gonna say exactly how many. We're gonna how be at many? the goddamn Speaking. Grammys. Okay, Hell two yeah. years. Oh, I'm gonna call my nigga Johnny. Johnny, man, give me in that old Cardi B, Cardi B did it. You could do it. Two exactly. Years. Let's get it. Hell yeah, I want to see. Hey, I'm really proud of what y'all doing. Y'all are really putting on. We but really, it's like I said, there was to. a group of ladies came in here to do uh, photography, and they were like, "Put on that enchant," and I was like, "Damn." Yeah, that's that <laughs> they shit. Said that that's shit that's like <laughs> they must be cool as fuck. I gotta beat them. Facts. I fuck with them. Beautiful ladies too. And and you say the the uh, project itself, uh, you think in June? Are we mm-hmm. early June? Early June. Early and uh, June. I know y'all just if 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 they're if they're looking a little where where for the weather, they just came back from a long day of shooting a visual. Exactly. I mean, it, man, f- y- y'all, y- y- y'all want to touch day. on that? What song was that too? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, world. We shot a the Monday. Video for Monday. Okay. Um, by K Rich Photos. I know y'all know him. He's a very Definitely. very Famous Fucking photographer dope. from here, and now he's doing uh, videos. Um, is the song gonna go, is the video gonna drop on Monday? Is it gonna drop? Perhaps on <laughs> you should drop it on a Monday. Perhaps <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. good money in June. Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday night. Make, it do, make it do numbers. Um, though as far as your plans for her, as far as where you would like, you said you want to sit back and see what she's done. Where do you see like her as far as your moment? Like, look what you know. I, I've done something good for somebody. Um, I think like her first big concert or something like that, I would just be like, oh, wow, like we did it, you know, and after that, it's just going to all fall into place and it's going to become normal. But, um, you know, I feel like things are going to move pretty fast for Enchanting. We've already got um, somebody reached out for her to open up for Erica Badu for the Jazz Fest. So it's fucking lit. Jazz Fest, that is real. So I'm like, man, like, you know, oh, man. opportunities like she's going to have a long set and it's going to be her first big set and we're going to be yeah. able to do it. <laughs> it might be like passing the torch a little bit, you know what I mean? You know, and the guy who asked me, he said, you know, they remind, she kind of reminds him a little bit of her. That's funny because I was going to say the same thing. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people say that. That's you know? my yeah, mama you just have right it Because there. you have a unique <laughs> voice that is super dope yeah. that is just, you know, just like Erica Badu, you know, she got that unique yeah, voice. Yeah, I fuck with her strong. Definitely, oh, definitely, no. man. You gotta be able to work. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Do you got a song with DJ Duffy? Oh, no. Oh. Come on, you just it's gave it. You just, wait a minute. So you just like Michael Jordan hit the three and just, just retired? You know, you, do you that? never know. I might come back out, but it'll probably be on one of my rapper's songs. I won't mess her song See. up. <laughs> facts, big facts. <laughs> Um, and Dove, you you yourself, um, I seen you kind of pumping out a clothing line as well. Oh yes, hooktshirt.com. Um, that is my new t-shirt line. It's basically um, plain t-shirts for people who don't give a fuck, you know. And have, <laughs> <Max> <laughs> you know, it says like "fuck him" on the shirt. Um, sexually <laughs> active. Yeah. Um, free free my niggas. Like it just says all kind of stuff, you know. It's just fun. You know, fun t shirt. You ain't making it no easy <laughs> for the risk at all list. I mean, you, you, you're only making it worse for these boys. I um, know. What's the feedback been on, on the clothing line? What's your feedback? In um, <laughs> The account looks good. My there Shopify go. account. That looks okay. great. There you go. I honestly uh, really don't be reading comments that much like that. I'll go under my post and just read, like, you know, the first couple people, the people you know. Yeah. But you, I got a lot of, like, 
I got a lot of people who just say weird things, and then I have support too. So I like to keep like positive energy in my spirit. So I'll go read what my friends had to say, and then I keep it moving. And normally my DMs are full of like people who care and want to say nice things, but you know, them comment sections can get crazy. Facts. Uh, speaking of, I mean, I'm curious because I don't know in what order did it happen. Did you do the the big old freak? Uh, gas station Yes, I first. started the big you old free yes, gas station I'm, I'm, I'm challenge. Like, I'm like, Duffy's on or something here. And then I seen uh, Megan posted it. I'm like, oh, then that shit went Yo, crazy. I know. I seen a crazy now, one I want to talk about, but I now, seen a crazy one. Now everybody's trying to put pressure on me to do videos for their songs. You know, I got so many friends in the industry. For They're real, like, man. do me a video. Do I'm me like, a challenge. I was like, I don't know if it's going to go. It ain't going to go viral like Megan's. You can't beat like two thick southern girls DJing at the gas station that are famous and then every all the other girls doing it. Like, facts, that's facts. hard to beat. Me and Megan have a similar personality, so it just worked. What's the craziest, uh, <laughs> what's the craziest challenge you've seen at the gas station as did you see anything crazy? Um, no, nah, just girls yeah. having fun, shaking ass. Like, there ain't nothing go. crazy about that to me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So that's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. <laughs> and also, uh, I want to also touch on your, uh, you know, I know uh, French was uh, had a residency, and then of course you were going there. But now there might be a situation. Yeah. For so uh, me and French, we have a residency at Dre's, which is like the only hip hop nightclub you can go to in Vegas, and then they have the Dre's Pool Party, which is the only hip-hop pool party you can go to in Vegas, and they um, asked me to do my own DJ set this nice. past weekend, nice. and if they said if I did good, I, you know, I was going to get some more opportunities, and everybody said I killed it. The owner said I killed it. The MC said I killed it. I did kill it. I ain't gonna, normally, I'm hard on myself. Nah, I, walk, I walked I walked off of that stage real confident that Boom. day. Hey, is, is Franzen going to feel some kind of way? Nah, he don't, <laughs> nah, nah, everybody eat. <laughs> there you go. Everybody eats, me. Everybody eats. Everybody eat. No, big facts, big facts. Um, so as far as, of course, you got June, you got the album dropping, um, you got the money video shoot kind of in the wraps in the bag. It's in the bag, right? It's in the bag? Huh? Uh, more, Monday. It, it, Monday. Any, any more shoots or we, y'all, is wrap? Oh, it's wrapped. It's okay, a wrap. bad. so that's a it's wrap. Maybe. Um, uh, the summer's about to be crazy. <laughs> what, what is the plan as far as, uh, for the summer and the rest of 2019? Um, with the music, with the visuals. I mean, do y'all have anything individually like that um, you want to grow on and do a little bit more? We finna get these features in. Yeah. And uh, travel there some more. Go. There you go. Get got, it in. Got Network you. with different artists, different places. Yeah, we have some bigger artists that has reached out and agreed, or I reached out to them. Some reached out to her that um, you know they'll do features for Enchanting. So we're gonna spend the summer trying to pull up. To the studio, like, yeah. what's up? We here. What's I, up? I gotta ask about one feature. How did you link up with Hitman Hollow? Like, the battle rap. Hey, like, I'm a huge hit battle me rap up fan. On Instagram. <laughs> yeah, he's like a huge battle Instagram rap. Instagram is a. Ne you can talk to anybody. Yeah. yeah. Did that kind of surprise you? Craziest to see people be hitting me up on Instagram. Did that kind of shock you to see somebody? Because he's like a really big name in battle rap. Like, he's like one of the top names. We got a dope ass song. Too. That's crazy. <laughs> That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. <laughs> big facts. Big facts. <laughs> um. So, of course, we know your social media situation going to get uh, even better, <laughs> for what Duffy says. Uh, Duffy, as far as your social media, um, as far as, uh, um, yeah, I guess, yeah, I mean, you just turned on my eye. Like I said, you might have posted some, you know. Man, I'm trying to I'm trying to get to a million a, a, after the summer. I'm like at eight, 850,000. I want to get to a million. And I was just trying to think of how I could do that, how I could build more of my fan base. And I think by showing my personality. So this summer, I go on tour with um, Wiz Khalifa, French, Moneybag, Playboy Cardi, DJ Drama, um, Chevy Woods. And I'm going to vlog. So I have my own camera. I do photography and videography. So I'm going to bring my camera on tour, and I'm going to vlog a lot. And I'm just going to bring out what it's like for me being the only female on tour with all of these guys That's and awesome. just, like, share my experience. And I think that that will really help me grow the numbers to where I want it to be. I like it. I like it. Um, for the fans sitting at home, because, you know, they want something exclusive, uh, I probably asked this before, but we're going to ask it again. What is something that both of y'all do that the normal fan may not know that you have a talent in or that you do? <laughs> can't tell you that. I know we This feels like deja vu. <laughs> you wonder why niggas is jumping in the deep niggas. Just head first sliding in that motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> How low does go. it go? <laughs> Dang, Tyler, you go first. Um, you go first. <laughs> Come on. I, I tell her she scares me. She's like uh, with Harley Quinn. 
Mm. She looks real sweet, but I feel like I'm it's a fucking gangster. Mm. Truth is, mm. got a, hey, no, a switchblade. We seen the fight. <laughs> Wait, what? Go. Truth <laughs> is, I can whoop a bitch ass. See? Period. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Run up if you want to. <laughs> Run up. Johnny Baker, like, Run up if you next want week. to. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> Janet, no. We got a concert tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can right. we do it? No, but for the fan that, uh, what's a talent that you know they might not know you have? Beat a bitch ass, like she said. Yeah, <laughs> I just poop emoji. Um, <laughs> shit. My main bitch will beat a bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so ratchet. Um, <laughs> um, I can shoot real good too. Oh, that's dope. I like guns. Is, wait, 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 wait. I got a real is gun. That, is that fetish. from training or is that uh, just from non training? I mean, we're gonna work on our PR. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of both. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Being being a marksman, you're in Texas. That's expected. That's you know what, what I'm saying? saying. You know, little black girls out here is getting took every day. B, what y'all want go, me to do? Man. Be a victim. There you go. Social commentary. There you go. <laughs> there you See go. See what I'm saying? You want them to just take me, take advantage? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Then what? Nah, they're like we got sec- we got security. <laughs> We're for gonna that. work on this before the uh, E Entertainment interview. <laughs> <laughs> no guns in China. No <laughs> guns. <laughs> Enchanting. Enchanting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Duff, uh, for, uh, well, yeah, I, man, listen, I already know what you do, so, yeah. Uh, well, no, is there a talent that they may not know that you may present? I know, I'm just saying, it might be another, I mean. I don't know. You know what, one thing, which, I mean, I'm sure some people see and some don't. Most guys just look at me for my looks, but, like, I'm very smart. I'm very talented. Like, I do a lot for my artists. I do videography. I do photography. I'm stylist, uh, director of their videos, <laughs> uh, therapist, uh, you know, I do a lot. And so I just, I want to <laughs> showcase, you know, that more. I guess I twerk a lot. So if they only come to my page for twerking, but they, they wouldn't they know. They start off at the twerking and they, they get the first They learn more. They probably just skip to like, the ass she got oh, stop oh, and then skip <laughs> over all the other shit. Hey, Girl. <laughs> but I just want to say, man, you're a real genuine person. You could, like, everybody can see it. Like, you really go hard for people and just yeah. keep putting off for Texas. And Thank the, you, man. Yeah. I will. Like, I want, I want, like, I think about this uh, French's manager sal he's also the manager of the weekend he has this crazy house in la this white house with like just dope interior it's just dope right well all the people that work with him i've been to belly his artist house cash there's like four other people houses around this guy sal all their houses look alike they all got these big houses by the same designer with dope interior their, their driveways look they got the the grass and stones and when i think about ppr and enchanting and malcolm i'm like Yo, I want us to be in Dallas with some dope ass houses all in the same neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Just living like a Do good that. ass life because Do I see it. that. Like yeah. I've seen that. And we and gonna so hit Johnny. I got that vision in my head that like the people around me, I want all of us to have these dope ass houses Good and Lord. we visit each other on the weekend on Sundays and shit and just really look look what we did. That's dope. That's my that's what I see. Man. Oh, yeah. uh, can you yeah. sign us to Def <laughs> I think I can sing a little bit. I can yodel in this mug. I mean, you, whatever you need. Got the key sweat. <laughs> yodel. Oh, you know, me around. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. <laughs> just don't have no, like, Def Row movie come out where, you know, just let's just keep everything on the up and up, man. <laughs> yes, he um, should. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, no, uh, it's plug time. I want to make sure we plug everything again. Uh, definitely plug the music, plug the clothing. Y'all just run down the list of just, you know, plug away. Okay, what's up? It's your girl DJ Duffy. You can follow me um, at I Want DJ Duffy. Um, you can follow my clothing line at Hook T shirt dot oh at Hook T shirt or Hook T shirt dot com. Um, oh, also, ladies, if you want to lose weight like I did in the summer, shop Bella Body. Get the Bella trim drops. I also, you know, have, have own some of that. So there you go. Yeah, <laughs> it does wonders. It does own wonders. Some of that. Does so, wonders. Yeah. Oh, and then check out all of my artists at Duffy Entertainment. Okay. And the new artist Jeff. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> and uh, and once again, let them know the, the songs again, the music, and also um, how to find your music that catalog that's out now. Okay. In social medias. All right, y'all go grab the album. Go <laughs> grab the singles, okay. both on iTunes. Dreams come true and Monday, and shit. Oh. I'm not supposed to cuss. Well, you can find all my music on iTunes, Spotify, everything else. Title, Apple Music, all that good stuff. Look me up on YouTube, Enchanting, and follow me on Instagram at L-U-V Enchanting. Okay? Aww. 
That's, that's Aww, as easy as it so get. Well, uh, any shout outs you want to <laughs> give in chat? Shout out to my motherfucking manager. She that bitch. Shout out to my motherfucking <laughs> artist. She and shout bitch. out to Johnny over there. He that yeah, nigga. Johnny. Johnny. Damn, Cause. motherfucking D. Because when y'all get on, guess who we going to call? Dream, Dream motherfucking Dreams deep. come true. God damn it, fucking with Johnny. God damn it. <laughs> live our dreams through you. I live our dreams through you. Facts, facts. Man, well, you already know what it is, man. Enchanted, man. The one and only DJ Duffy. The one and only. We appreciate y'all coming through. Y'all are some real life street stars, man. Hey. We salute. Once hey. again. Don't get Thank too big you. to not come back. Nah. Of course not. Once big, again. I know, for real. Man, <laughs> I want to come back when I'm big, big, where I got to be like, come in with security. For real, you're going to get carried like, in. Like, sorry, guys. <laughs> you just go with me everywhere I go now. I'm <laughs> telling you. <laughs> and she's still going to pull up, man. That's love still right there, man. Still going to come, though. <laughs> there you go, man. Real life street stars, man. We salute, man. All right. <laughs>